A certified historical landmark could be for sale in Atascadero, but it needs a lot of love. News Channel 3's Melissa Newman has more on why one group is trying to save a decades-old printery. It might be hard to tell now, but this building used to be one of the most important printeries in California. It was a, a large printing press in Atascadero, um, unique to the area, and it printed um, for Sunset Magazine, it printed for the San Francisco Chronicle, it printed for the LA Times, um, and also the Illustrated Review. Which creates a special connection for Nicholas Matson. He now writes for the Atascadero newspaper. This is the original home of the Atascadero News. The very first edition was printed here. Uh, there is a part of me that is very nostalgic for that. But the building was in stages of changing hands, being loosely used by the city as a skate park when the San Simeon earthquake almost demolished it in 2003. Since then, it has been uh, uninhabited. Um, except for the creatures, the pigeons, and the, uh, the, I call them vagrants. And after the owner of the building was sent to jail for fraud in 2015, there was no one left to pay the property taxes for it, leaving the building in a $300,000 deficit and potentially up for sale at a tax auction. Now the Atascadero Printery Foundation is stepping up to pay those back taxes in order to ensure the building goes into the right hands. Uh, we have raised about $30,000 in cash donations and pledges for the purchase of this building and we need to continue to raise that money and to gain that interest so that we can convince the county board of supervisors that we have the purchasing power necessary to complete the process. Once the tax money is paid, the restoration efforts can begin, but those will cost about $10 million, which is why the Printery Foundation believes it should stay theirs. As a nonprofit, we are able to avoid paying property taxes and avoid paying the uh, prevailing wage that it costs. Um, so we cut a lot of costs by, by purchasing this property as a nonprofit and restoring it for those purposes. Um, and eventually, we hope to open it up for community use. In Atascadero, Melissa Newman, News Channel 3. The foundation has until January 5th to reach their goal of raising $300,000. If the foundation is unsuccessful with their goal, they hope someone will restore back to its original grandeur instead of demolishing it.